it's Melody from the 26th episode of the Melody Crochet Podcast. I come to you from my home here in Texas to discuss my yarn obsessed life on a weekly basis. I knit, I crochet, I like to make patterns and share them on Ravelry. I made a new one this week. I cannot wait to share it with you. I made a tutorial. Where is it? Oh, it's for a cocoon. So we'll talk a little bit more about this. I also made a couple things for the house. I have the Spring Day Coralon giveaway to announce, which I could not be more excited about. Let's start with finished objects though, because I'm excited. I had to do a little reset work this week because we are getting into the summer flow of things. My older son is off of college. My younger son will soon be done with homeschooling, but we're gonna change up the schedule anyway because it's summer. For all intents and purposes, here in Texas, it is hot. That means Pokemon Go and the local pool, pretty much. <laughs> um, lots and lots of knitting and crocheting for me, fortunately, and, you know, kind of a switch in projects. So I took the time to develop my new routine. Instead of doing my home workouts, I'm going to be doing basically just chasing the 10,000 steps a day which is crazy. It's so much. It feels great, but it takes a few days to get into the flow of things. It has to start early. You don't want to start, I think a couple times I've started um, maybe seven o'clock at night with like 3,000 steps, which isn't terrible. That's actually more than I was doing for quite a while, like all day long, but getting 7,000 steps after dark is a challenge. So you want to pace yourself. You got to set the schedule. Um, had to reintroduce the yoga and meditation into my life because that is central to my happiness and my well-being. We just got our garden into the ground. I hope we get some vegetables. When we first got here in Texas, we had a farmer's market that had no fruits or vegetables because the weather was just so crazy. All they had was meat. I thought that was farmer's markets in Texas. It was just meat. Let's talk about finished objects. Um, they have not been massive objects, but they have been things that have made me so, 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 so happy. Um, first, let me introduce you to my co-host, Mona. She's quiet. Mona came from Sweden. Okay, no, she came from Ikea. And she came in an ugly orange pot. Did not suit her at all. Mona is a money plant. And I wanted her in the living room because a nice big plant makes me so happy. But she needed some coziness, I thought. So I crocheted this pretty pot cozy. I call it my plant cozy, if I'm completely honest. And I just love it. Isn't that pretty? Whoever designed this pattern of yarn is just brilliant. It's I Love This Yarn Prints in Painted Canyon, and I could not be more pleased. This took one skein of the prints. The prints are a little bit smaller of a skein than the solids, as you can see. And I used white and painted canyon and I held them together and I used a K hook specifically my tulip and I really just had a great time I think it took me about a day and maybe a day and a half and I just kind of alternated between two really simple stitches and I didn't start or stop the rows at any specific place. I wanted kind of a haphazard bohemian feel to it, just really relaxed and soft. And I just did about four rows and four rows. So there's a spike stitch and there's a back loops only kind of a stitch right there. And I'm really pleased with it. It adds a little something to the room. We like to keep things very simple in the front room and in all of our decor, if at all possible. And we like to keep things really relaxed and simple. Um, we have a lot of white and then I like my pops of color. So things like this just make me happy when I'm walking through the house. Just seeing yarn and crochet just makes me happy. I'd love to make a wall hanging with some yarn in it sometime this month. Um, I have some bare walls that really need some love. So hopefully I can get some of that taken care of. That would be fabulous. Um, but like I said, it's the I love this yarn one ball of the prints and maybe half of a ball of the white held together with a k hook 
If you guys would like me to write that up, I'd be happy to. Just let me know. But I just really love the way it turned out, and I think I'd need some more. Not with the same colorways, just with something different, something else, something else that's soft and smooth. <sighs> what else do we have? We have my cocoon. There you are. Got it lost. Now. This was inspired by all of the succulent art that is everywhere right now. Stickers, watercolor art, um, oh my gosh, it's everywhere. The mixed media, photography has a bunch of succulents all over the place. And I really just wanted to bring some of that to baby photography. So this is a newborn baby cocoon. It's supposed to look like a little terracotta pot. It looks more pot-like when you open it up. So it's got a little terracotta pot and put a little lip there and I worked my way up. This is Red Heart Super Saver in Redwood and this is, I love this yarn in Ocean. I'm actually using Ocean in another project right now too. So I have a ball of it right here and I love how soft that is. I saw this color and it just reminded me of all the pretty blue green succulents I'm seeing in pictures right now and I could not have been more pleased. Um, I used an H hook. And I did a full tutorial. It is available on my channel. Super, super simple and easy. I think the tutorial is about half an hour because I get into how to do the stitches also just in case somebody's new. But not too much to where I think it would be too boring for somebody that knows how to do the stitches. But I didn't want to leave anybody behind. So I went through every single step. We start at the bottom. We work our way up. And I'm just so pleased with it. Um, I popped it on Etsy. I have no need for a baby cocoon right now it's just one of those things i get inspired i love baby stuff i love hats instant gratification yeah <laughs> i love that um this is a modified um crocodile stitch just a little pico at the end and i'll go through how to do that too and i think the whole thing took me about probably two hours worth of actual work maybe three um this you know it's potato chippy. It goes around and around and double crochets. That's really what took the brunt of the work. Um, I did the beginning and the evening and then I just worked for the rest of the evening while I was playing video games and watching some Netflix. I did the body of this. After that it was just smooth sailing and really really fast. It is a smaller hook and it's usually suggested for worsted weight or size 4 or Aran weight yarn. But I can't stand when the little baby toes poke out. Oh, I know they're usually swaddled inside of a cocoon, and that's why I feel comfortable using the Red Heart Super Saver at all. Um, but in its defense, after one machine wash and dry, Red Heart Super Saver is super nice on even for newborns, in my opinion. And when you have a new baby, you want something easy. And if it gets put in the wash on the dryer by dad because he's trying to help out, you don't want something that's going to be completely ruined because this is one of those things that goes into the box for either the next baby or goes into the memory box forever after some newborn photography. I love doing props. It's a thing. I've done them for years and I have some photographers that still come to me if they get any ideas or see anything and want me to come up with a pattern. So that is it for my finished objects. I have a couple things in progress. Let's go with whips. Um, I have shown you my socks before. I pulled them out only because they're the only socks I have going on right now and that's a complaint on my part. I keep on saying I need to start a new pair and I haven't because I become inspired by something else. Um, I need to pick a box. All that back there, there's two little crates. Boop. Those two little turquoise boxes back there. That is all sock yarn. And um, by sock yarn, I mean yarn that I have set aside to make socks out of. Um, I love the fingering weight yarn. Boop. Oh. <laughs> Up there. That's all fingering weight yarn. But it's not sock yarn. It's like shawl yarn. So that's my sock yarn. And I need to pick a ball or two and get some socks started so they can be all over because that's how I prefer it. Just sock, pack, little bags of socks all over for when I'm sitting around. This is technically my car knitting, but I don't see me doing much of that in the near future because it's hot in that car. I'm not sitting in there. Um, but yeah, I started this space stop, the space socks, and then I stopped the patterning. So that's going to be the only arrow unless I get very 
aggressive at some point decide to add an arrow for no good reason um i'm thinking i'm going vanilla all the way up going for mid calf i made this yarn myself so the stroll shimmer and then i dyed it myself for acid dyes i do everything quite professionally um but i am getting more and more interested in just using natural and food color based dyes i know that natural and food color based are two different things by the way <laughs> but I'm not loving the chemical aspect and the idea of having to put on the big vapor mask and the worrying about particles and I don't love that. I don't know if that's worth it for me in the long run and I'd love to learn how to do it in a more natural, relaxed way where I don't even have to think about what I have to do in my kitchen after I dye my yarn because right now it's a spectacle afterward it's just a washing spectacle and even after i finish all that i still go over it again with vinegar it's a lot of work and this is in my ipsy bag <laughs> isn't that cute i think it was lingerie sponsored that month everything was lingerie themed it's so cute so those are my socks in progress and i'm loving them but i want to give them more attention they need a more popular place to sit my second in progress has to do with this. This is the yarn that my son Izzy chose while we were in Farmersville. There was a huge yarn store. We go there quite often and he goes in and this is the one yarn in the huge yarn store that he had to have. So we took this home and did not know what to do with it. So we held on to it. And then the other day I'm looking at his stuffed animals and I said to myself, we need to do something about the stuffed animals because they're all over his bed and I want them close by but I don't want them like all over the place so I'm making him a hammock for his toys it's gonna go over his bed it's and kind of low huh it's gonna be out of that yarn you don't think so that looks I good. guess it was a surprise <laughs> he's over there homeschooling hi honey okay but yeah, so this is going to be the hammock for his stuffed animals over his bed. I think the bright color is just cheering up. I think it's awesome. I'm excited. And this should be done pretty quick. It goes very fast. I'm using this yarn, which is worsted weight acrylic. I have no idea the brand because there was no label on it. It just said worsted weight acrylic from China. It had like a printed out label and everything. It was just, I'm not sure. He just found it in upstairs in a back corner behind all the other acrylic and it screamed to him apparently. I can see how it would scream. That's, it's fire. It's fire in a skein of yarn. So <laughs> I'm using an end hook. This is one that my friend Joelle made for me. I love it. She used that lightweight Sculpey light. I forget, but yeah, I use it whenever I get a chance to, whenever I use a big hook and it's super comfy too. So, what else do we have going on here? Oh, 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 I remember. Let's dive deep into admin. We have some alongs. And right now, the along that is going on for two more weeks at the Melody Crochet Podcast Ravelry Group is shared with the Quirky Monday Podcast. Hi, Kalisha. Um, I'm making for the As Seen on TV Cal the Gilmore Girls Afghan from when Lane was on bed rest and they kind of wheeled her around to her baby shower. I've always loved that blanket. I've saved pictures of it. I've wanted it forever. I do not know about this. Now this is from Coates and Clark, so Red Heart, but they have the free pattern on Ravelry for this square. And there's also a video from Red Heart also to make the square. I didn't see the video. It's a really straightforward pattern. And I like it, but that's really, really, really open. And I'm thinking maybe granny around here. What do you guys think? Seriously, leave a comment down below. I want to hear your opinion. Should I go granny around the edge? And should I tighten this up a little bit? Maybe a little less spacing? Right now they have some serious chain spacing in between, but that is really open. There's open and then there's, that's really open. 
I'm using an eye hook. My colors are, I love this yarn in tropical pink, ocean, and white, which is blown out like crazy because the sun is coming through that window. I don't know why I'm right. Let me close the window real quick so you guys can see. A little better, but yeah. It's white, ocean, and tropical pink. And I really like these colors together. I wanted to go with a purple, but all the purples I held up against the green just made me think of Joker from Batman, and that's not the feel I'm going for right now. So I'm thinking I love the tropical pink, plus it's a lot closer to the one they used in the show. So, so far I'm pleased. Let me open this back up. The sunshine makes me happy. I have made, that's my first completed square. But I've made about six or seven more of the roses, and I just love making them. They are so addictive. It takes no time at all, and they're just so cute. I just want to put them all over my head. So that is my project set that I'm working on right now. I'm hoping that both of them will be done, the blanket and the hammock, will be done really soon. Um, I'm devoting myself quite thoroughly. My socks, of course, will be probably several more months. I'm not a fast sock knitter and that's okay. I have quite a few pairs that have already knitted and I figure there's no rush, but I really do love working on them. So I hope I find a place where I can set them or some other socks because it's not convenient to have them just in the car. It's kind of a bummer to not have any socks to work on inside. Just when we're talking or when I'm waiting for something, when you're on hold for the phone. Oh my gosh. Sock knitting keeps me sane. Huh, honey? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. As far as purchases this last couple weeks, let's see here. I have some new stuff I want to share. I went ahead and purchased this. I do not need it, but it is the First Confidence in Textiles certified yarn that is tested for harmful substances. Now I'm not 100% sure of the harmful substances that were in a bunch of the other yarn, but I support the direction they are going in and I wanted to support them financially in doing so. I did use my coupon to do it though because this thing is $9.99 at Joann's. It is a lot of yarn though. It's 10 ounces, size four yarn. Looks a little thinner than average if you ask me. Um, you get less if you get the print. This is called prints. It's really pretty. I believe you get 14 ounces if you get the solid and you get 10 ounces if you get it like this in a print. And the 10 ounces gives you 678 yards of yarn, quite a bit. They suggest an eye hook. And I'd say if I have to say what it feels most closely like, I would say impeccable from loops and threads. It's just got that density. Um, not a lot of drape feel to it, but I think it's going to be a great pillow or blanket yarn. And that's what I plan to do with mine. Or a beach bag. It feels like something that would really wash well. And I like that brushed finish they have to kind of soften the colors. That's beautiful. So good job for them. And I hope I see even more colorways because it's really, really nice. Um, the price is a little bit high, but I usually have my coupon available. And while I was over at Joann's, pretty much one, two, three, almost all of my yarn purchases this week are from Joann's. The next one was, I was getting a present for somebody who sent me a present. And I got a color for me too in the same kind of yarn. I got her, this is Shoal and a Cake. I love shawl in a ball. Love shawl in a ball. It's so nice to make a shawl out of because it's kind of got that cottony feel. Is this 100% acrylic? Nope, this one's got the cotton too. We are 58% cotton, 39% acrylic, 3% other fibers. I like a company that's not picky. I don't know. What is other fibers? <laughs> but that colorway got me. There is black in there, like a smoky gray black. 
and that bright chartreuse and the greens and the teals and the blue. Oh my gosh, they are screaming my name. And you get quite a bit, not as much as shawl in a ball, just a little bit less. Um, this is 5.3 ounces, so 150 grams, and it is 481 yards. So go Lion Brand. It is beautiful, and those colors. What to make? What to make? Hmm. The options are endless. Um, it says. I'm trying to think of the size. It says it's a size four medium and it suggests a J hook. I think I will be swatching this up with you guys. If you don't mind, there'll probably be a video because I'm excited to swatch this and I want to share. So there he is. My colorway is called Sun Salutations. Oh, yoga themes. I love that. I didn't read that till just now. Okay. And then still at Joann's, um, not the same trip because like I mentioned, I'm getting more steps. That means I have to go places and that a lot of the time means yarn stores or craft stores. I can't go to a local yarn store and get a bunch of steps because that would be weird. Just me. Yeah. So, but Joann's Michael's Hobby Lobby, that's a good place to get about a thousand steps if you're aggressive. So I'm at Joann's again <laughs> and they had the jeans yarn from lion brand oh my gosh i was i was making sure that all three are not lion, lion brand no we have the red heart in there and my last yarn that i just purchased is called jeans it's lion brand and i keep thinking it's vanna because they have a lovely blonde woman down there and for some reason i guess blonde women equal vanna white to me okay <laughs> but i went with faded and classic and i really think it's a beautiful combination i've wanted to try this yarn for a while i saw it at another joann's a few weeks ago but it wasn't at my local one i was surprised i thought i would go to my local one and pick one up if i didn't get it there and i'm still thinking about it i was still thinking about it i go to my joann's and it wasn't there but it showed up so I grabbed some and I cannot wait to swatch it up. It has kind of a soft spun chenille feel to it. It is so soft and different. I can't wait to use it, but I wanted to share with you guys first. Um, so we are looking at size four, once again, 246 yards for three and a half ounces. It says one ball will give you a hat, two will give you a scarf and four, is it four or five? five plus will give you a sweater. They have really pretty colors too. They have um, kind of a taupey khaki color. I think that's actually in here. That brownish one right there, which is really cool. They also have a black stonewash look. They have a lighter gray, if I remember correctly, and they have some brighter colors. They have a raspberry color and a teal color. So really nice, as well as I think two other blue shades. These were my favorite. I do not know what I'm going to make, but I already love it and I can't wait to swatch it. So we'll look at that together too. One other thing, I did get some ombre, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre because Claire over at Bob Wilson 123 is having her summer bag. I got this, she had a little trouble uploading the video and I bought this while she was having the trouble uploading the video. And ever since she had that issue, I have not had a moment to sit down and make the bag that she made. But it takes one skein of this and then a complementary color. So I'm probably going to mix it up with black. Just because I like black and it won't get dirty because summer is a messy, messy time. So I'm thinking I'll do a black handle and I love violet. This is my first ombre. If I remember correctly, thinking, I'm thinking, yeah, this is my first ombre. I was supposed to use ombre for her sweater, but I ended up making that loud Christmas glitter sweater instead. So I haven't bought any ombre yet. Um, it's a little expensive. I got mine at Walmart because it's $7 at Walmart, but over at Joann's it is $9.99 and they had it mispriced a couple weeks ago. Once again, I was walking around. <laughs> but um they had it mispriced at 350. It looks like somebody took all the ombre and took it moved it from one end cap to another and then they priced the whole thing at 350. 
and I noticed that and I wanted to like help so I was in the line and they had this girl come to the front I was obviously being checked out by the manager and she was asking the manager questions about pricing so I figured it was a good time to add in I noticed that you guys have your ombre priced at your regular super safer price and she could have cared less I'm like okay but if I came up with three or four balls of ombre thinking I was going to pay twelve dollars and it turned into a forty or fifty dollar project I would not be a happy camper but <laughs> so Mine was $7 at Walmart, and I'm really excited to use it. I like Red Heart Super Saver for bags. They are just so cleanable. I have gotten some presents. Oh my gosh. First off, Mother's Day was wonderful. I was spoiled with all the candy and yummy. And my son's girlfriend, Amber, made me yarn art. Is that not the most? Amber's awesome. She also has a channel on YouTube. She's Fleur's Fries. And that is the cutest thing ever, isn't it? Oh, I love it. She gave me candy too. But then I had two surprises from Krista over at The Secret Yarnery. And she has a channel here on YouTube. She's absolutely amazing. If you get a chance to go see her, she does reviews and she does... Um, some tutorials and she has a little podcast now and she's just amazing she's over in Kenya and she'll take you on trips like well you can go to the grocery store with her or a mall or out to lunch and it's so fun I love seeing other places it's it's kind of my thing I just love seeing any place that I haven't been but I came home and I found a box from her I didn't it really didn't click why she wanted me to send my address. First, I just sent my email address because I thought she just meant email. But she sent me a present and she did not tell me she was going to. I feel so bad. I had to put something together for her. Um, okay. So she sent candied cashews, but those did not survive the day because yum. They were so good. And then she also sent fruit tea. I've already opened it because I have to see the flavors. I haven't had it yet. I always wait to share it with you guys to before I have it. But she sent this tea, um, pure Kenya tea. So she sent the regular tea. I can do this. Spinny jar. I know how to hold it right. So, no. I'll never learn. <laughs> but she sent regular tea, which I love regular, regular tea. Right now it's totally regular tea season. I'm icing everything. And she sent fruit tea. And they have strawberry and peach and lemon. Look how pretty that is. That is absolutely adorable. Thank you so much. I'm all excited. I love tea. And she sent me yarn. So let's dig here. Now, whenever I'm watching her, I'm looking at her wall of yarn behind her. I love a good wall of yarn. And one of the things that I know I asked her about is what was that mint? Because I love mint. Isn't that pretty? And she's got a taupe to work with it. Careful, honey. I love it. It feels kind of acrylic-y. I'm thinking it wants to be a bag. But those colors are beautiful. I can't wait to make something. Thank you so much, Krista. She also sent this fluffy eyelash yarn. It's so squishy and soft. I don't know what to make out of it. I need a suggestion. What do you think I should make? Oh, 50 grams, 150 meters. It's made of polyamide and the color is lilac. I love that. Purple's my thing. And she said, and she knows that I like to make dishcloths. I've mentioned it in one of her lives. And that is just beautiful. It feels kind of a DK weight. 100% cotton and looks like 50 grams is 170 meters. Oh, I love that green and that purple. Thank you so much. And she also sent me a little envelope of whip cards. She sells these. And basically it just has project name and pattern source and hook size, yarn and notes and on the back she has these cute little sayings. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love it. They're going in all my project bags. 
That was such a surprise. And then Lacey over at Hooked on Owls got a hold of me. Wait, she, I got a hold of her, I believe, because she mentioned that she had Mandela in new colors and I was so jealous. So I got a hold of her and in the meantime, in conversation passing, I mentioned how sad my Walmart Mandela collection was. In case you're not familiar, I should probably be a little bit more forthcoming. It is Lion Brand Mandala, one of the yarn cakes, and they're usually so sold in Walmart. And my selection is sad and usually messy. Uh, we have a lot of Walmart. We have a lot of Walmart shoppers. We use a lot of yarn in my area, but my Mandala is sad and messy. Um, part of me wants to complain to somebody that works there, and part of me wants to fix it myself. But I don't do either of those things. I just let it go. And every time I'm at Walmart, which is way too often, I look and see if they have gotten the new colors. So Lacey showed me that she had new colors a while ago. And I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> and she was so sweet. She got me some mandala in the new colors. First, she sent this adorable card, which is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. And then I opened it up and I didn't see this until actually a couple days ago because it was under the yarn and I wouldn't let myself open the box until I shipped to her. Um, I opened it, but I didn't like take everything out and stuff. And this was underneath. Have you ever? It is the most beautiful fuzzy mohair ball of purple I have ever seen in my entire life. I can't wait to put it in something. Oh my gosh, where did it come from? It's amazing. She put a tag on it. It is 29 grams of Lorna's Laces yarns in heaven and the color is blackberry. And it's light and dark and tonal. I see it showing up on my camera, but I fear that it won't be as awesome as it actually is. It has light and dark places and it is so beautiful and soft. It's 90% kid mohair and 10% nylon. What did you use this in? Is this like leftover? I have got to see what you made with this because it is magical. I love it. I want more. <laughs> I'm like, give me more of this. I've never seen this and it's purple. I love purple. Oh, did I share my bracelet? Good morning. I got a bracelet. This one's from Etsy. I'll, sh I'll talk more about it in a few, but have you ever, I was, it was hiding under the mandala and she sent all this beautiful black glittery tissue paper and it was in there. So I went in right before I started filming. I tried to film the other day and I took out the tissue paper cause I didn't want to crinkle in everybody's ears and this popped out. I'm like, ah, so it's my new friend. <laughs> She found the cutest box. I love it. It's so Danish inspired. I love that. It's beautiful. But she sent this awesome box of tea and this cute little cozy for my purse. And could that be any prettier? Look at the little button. I can't wait to throw it in my bag. And thank you for all the tea. Ooh. I love wild sweet orange. And I, th I think I saw passion too, right? Passion's my favorite. We always get iced passion tea when we go during the summer to Starbucks. And orange peachy green, I have never tried that. Is it orange? Oh no, organic peachy green. I've never tried that one. I bet that is awesome. Mom, your name we spell orange. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Instead of cage. My bad. You got this. And because she knows I love my smellies. I, ha I actually got another burner. So now I have two burners going in the house. I got one at Dollar Tree. It was only $1. I might have to go get more. I love these things. And this one is one of my favorite scents. This is the Lavender Twist. It smells really pretty. They have a lilac one. It looks really similar. It's nice too, but the lavender one is so pretty. I love this smell. And... I tried a new one a couple days ago. It's the green one. I did not love it. It's very herbal. So, no bueno. Oh, come back to me. She sent more minis. I guess this would be considered a mini. That's a beefy mini. I don't know if you could call that a mini. That's, it's heaven. Um, she sent minis. 
<laughs> I love them. This one she dyed herself and it has alpaca in it. Alpaca being my spirit fiber. And this is just a beautiful sock yarn super wash. It is wonderful. And what is it? It was Wonderland Yarns Cheshire Cat and it's called Actually. 100% fingering weight super wash merino. I love them. Okay. And <laughs> yes, have I shared with you why I don't like llamas? I love alpaca. I don't like llama. Um, when my older son was two years old, I was at a petting zoo and his father was <laughs> um, having a conversation with a llama and my two-year-old was standing right by him, maybe like three feet away, and he was just playing and wandering around. And then all of a sudden, I mean, they were just like eye to eye. And then he got mad, I guess, and did a 180 and kicked my son in the chest. It made the worst thud ever. He was okay, thank goodness. But I was like, he literally just turned around kicked in and turned back around and made eye contact again with my, uh, yeah. <laughs> so since then, me and llamas are not on great terms. So, but I love alpaca. Love alpaca. <laughs> Get so back to work. Is <laughs> back to work for you. Um, but now the reason for the package originally was the mandala. Oh my gosh. She found the best color. Okay. Have you ever? But blue and purple are my favorite thing ever. I love these colors. That is absolutely gorgeous. And that gray is perfect. It is called Magic Moon. And the balls are perfect too. They're exactly the same. How did you find two that are exactly the same? That's amazing. I have a cute charms. I love seahorses. I got a little seahorse pet in game the other day from fishing. I was all happy. And an am oh dear, bracelet. And an amethyst. That's actually my birthstone. So I like that very much. No, oh, thank you so much. What do I make? Oh, I like you. She has a shawl. Lacey over at Hooked on Owls. She has a shawl out that uses a ball of mandala. I think that only uses one cake. I don't want to like separate them. They need to be together. Hmm. I was going to mention my bracelet. I got my bracelet on Etsy the other day. Isn't it cute? It's a crochet hook. Bent. Amazing. I she shipped it from Canada. I'll put the information for the seller up. She shipped really fast and she had really cute packaging. No complaints on my part whatsoever. And I had to bend it a little bit more because it was kind of, these were kind of upward a bit more, but I like it better kind of in an awkward bend like this because I feel like the other way, if it's sticking out anymore, I'm going to catch because I'm already wearing a hook on my wrist. So that's just asking for trouble, right? But I love it. This is a three millimeter and she sent a boy. So I love it. It hasn't fallen off. I've been wearing it for three days now, straight. I won't take it off yet. I will, but right now I'm kind of loving it, so. And, who's ready for a giveaway? I'm excited. Okay. Now, one more time, I got the happy bag because it was awesome. It's way too big for the contents, but I had to give it away. It's amazing. Inside is the darn good yarn hook and needle set. It's purple metallic. Really, really pretty. And some yarn that was hand dyed by me. It's green. And I made you guys two charms. This one is a progress keeper that is a um, granny square. And this one is just a skein of yarn. I made them both out of clay. And this one I made more of a crochet style. A little bit of tea little card and the winner of the comments is Mo Carpenter. 
Hello, I hope that you're watching. If you are, please get to me within two weeks and I will send out your gift. That's all I got. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great week.